Hello, this is Max Drake. I just want to talk to you about this um, app I've been doing, basically an e-card or a business card. Um, three, I've got some ideas about this in, in about three different ways. First, when I was first looking at Glide about two months ago, um, I came across this one from Pete Wallace where he did a CV um, app. Um, and he has quite a lot of information on there and he's actually developed it a lot further than when I actually saw it back then. So good on him. It's, it's actually quite a cool app. Um, uh, so that was one area that I saw. Um, I wasn't that interested at that time in the CV because I actually had my own uh, website CV um, demonstrating all the things that I've, I've done. Um, the second thing that I've been doing was some uh, QR coding and I've been using QR codes, one embedding just text into uh, images. Some of them, uh, I think it's a VCD, so my details and stuff like that. Um, and some were dynamic. Now, the dynamic one just takes you to a URL similar to the Glide app. And I think that's the power of this Glide app one in a way is that you can update it. And your QR code that you actually have here doesn't change. So it's the same information and uh, you can update and change. So if you go and work for a different company or something else happens, it's easy to update the information and everything still works perfectly. So anybody who's got the original details or the original link can see all the updated information straight away. So that's quite cool. Um, the third area that I was looking at was um, uh, one that came out a while back is this um, program called Koji that they do apps, but they sort of ended up the really good idea. They use React apps and uh, they use, sorry, React code, and but they sort of ended up going into gaming and there was no real business apps but I came across this digital business card that I thought was quite good and I actually built my own version of it but um, and with these ones they actually have a sort of a dumb front end where you can do a couple of simple things on there and put some information on there or else you can get right down and dirty and go into the front end or the back end and start doing some serious bit of coding but um, uh, <laughs> it does not look friendly <laughs> Anyway, what I actually found when I was doing this one here um, is that things like um, uh, the web page didn't show up on here. Another thing, I actually was just really just playing around just at the very beginning. Um, I ended up with a background image. That one didn't turn up either. So um, some things worked, other things didn't work. And I thought, ah, oh, do I want to take this further? And, and, you know, I'd most probably have to go in and start doing a bit of coding inside here. And I thought, no, I wasn't really up to it at that point in time. But it was a really nice idea. Um, so anyway, um, I've been working on the, the reservations app. And I suddenly thought, no, I've had enough of that now. Um, uh, I want to play with this one. And so I suddenly thought, no, a, a simple e-card would be really good. And of course, there's the couple of things which I quite liked about the Koji one here was all of these were hot links. So if you click on this, it takes you to a map. If you click on this, it takes you to your phone and it lets you ring the number. And if you click on this one here, it'll go into an email. So I think that's quite elegant. And of course, you can do all of those things in Glide. So that's really cool. You know, you can click on that and write an email to the person or click on the phone for the phone number. And then there's the map there and you can click on the information or you've got the information here. I've also got um, the web CV. So you click on the button it'll take you to my cv bam there you go and um uh well so i was only thinking yeah that's the front end and as i started to develop it further one of the things that i did was i just put the qr code on the front there so that i could quickly scan that across they can scan that straight away and there it is but then when I started to look at it a bit more, I suddenly thought, oh, actually, I can tell a story. I've got my online CV, and then I can actually show the roles that I've worked through in my life as far as being an architect, building services, designer, structural engineer, uh, educator, project manager, um, uh, 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 different areas, different facets of work that I actually do. And the other area of interest to me, which is um, a visualizer, and this links across to my articles, my web pages for that, and my demonstration sites, and some of the tools that I've been developing. And again, in here, this was really nice as well, because um, now on here, um, I, I've got my text coming through here, and I'm using markup on here. So if we just go into the screen here, Bob, I'm just use, sorry, using markdown because of the fact that I can get the header and the text all in the same one. And uh, I find the spacing's a bit better. And also I can control the text sizes a bit more. Um, so if I want to reduce this to an, to an H2, I can. Whereas the, the thing with the summary 
is you so it, it's a bit rigid i find uh the title all of those ones over the thing so i just got um uh and again if i just go back to these ones the layouts are basically details that i really like the details layout because you can add individual things and then you can add an inline list at the bottom so you can actually have a variety of things on there and a lot of times on your web pages or things you don't just want to show one story you want to do a couple of things i suppose i could split it out onto another area but um my first attempt at this one thing which i'll be cleaning up now was in fact i actually ended up with them all on separate tabs um but it's sort of i suddenly thought well why have them on a separate stat i can actually just have all of them in a um inline list so that's what i'm using so this is the way that i'm doing that so on that one there i've just got this column called all with an x in it and then i just call the role is equal to the arch so it's calling this sheet here all a multiple with the x there so it's bringing on all of those other ones into um uh into there to come through for the roles so i've got all of those and again all of those uh, the the text structure of all of them is pretty much the same some have more images than others um and i may evolve those a bit more over time uh but i think and then i've got um i ended up giving a title for those things just to make it more simpler but i've got the h1 and then i've just got some of the other ones here and with uh, i've got another bit of uh, explanation at the bottom the other thing which i thought was really cool in this one as well um i'm still tracking my notes across to there get across i don't move i don't want to go across there um in the tools is one of the ones that I've got here, which I'm very pleased with as well. And this is where I see the versatility of Glide, which I think is brilliant. Is again, th th these are some of the ideas that I've been working on. Yes, I've got to go check up on that one. Um, uh, uh, where I've been working on these things in the past. I've got a, an, an image of what the idea is to do with actually um, showing condition changing over time. I've got a link to a, a web page with an example, and I've got videos. So I've actually developed a lot of information before on these particular subjects. And it's really handy to be able to showcase this. Like here on the heat maps, I've got videos on how they work and how to embed them into things. And it's just basically heat um, uh, Excel files. And um, uh, again, 360 panoramas. I've got to test out this link just because sometimes what I've actually found with some of the panorama stuff, the image goes right off the small screen. So I might actually have to start developing some small screen panoramas um, to work on the mobile apps. Um, uh, so that's just another exercise, but um, not today. Uh, so overall, I think a very handy thing to do. Very, very simple to build. Um, nothing too mysterious about it at all. Um, useful for other people and a kind of good first app to try. Um, th the, the things that I do um, that I'd want to extend, I want to get see if I can get a VCF um thing which i've just got some notes on that on my web page on my notes page which is really just information that i'm searching on which is actually how to build a contact file so it's really um if you've got a vcf with the button link is what i'm thinking of doing so that it just comes up with your details and it push it into the contacts now the vcf file works both in the iphone and in the android so i actually want to get that one to get that working because i think it's a great idea to actually have because that's another thing which I do find. I actually have given this demonstration to a couple of people for some Glide apps. They've got it onto their screen. They thought it really good in the mobile and things. And then they close their um, uh, page down and then they can't find it again. And then they suddenly saying, oh, well, you know, and you're suddenly saying, well, you can stick it to your screen. But a lot of people don't know how. So being able to put a VCF card into their contacts inside the context there's also a notes column of which you can actually put the glide app link into it so that you can actually say well actually just go into your contacts and you'll see the information all there so it's another way of getting that access through so um i just want to explore through that the other thing is in new zealand we don't actually tend to use the qr codes too much so i actually want to have another image through here and the image will be a telephone number with something to text 
And so if you do that SMS, it will actually send back an automatic reply with the link for this um, app. And the other thing which I want to do is I want to do another blank card with a screen, uh, uh, an email with something that you put in the header. And if you put that um, code in the header, it'll give you an auto reply coming through with that. Um, I've got videos on both of those two examples and how you actually set them up um, on in uh, the in my uh, playlist of um, Glide apps. So I hope that's been of interest to you. Um, if it's been uh, uh, of use, can you please give a thumbs up for the video? Thank you very much for watching.